Hello and welcome back to Creative Design and Supply. If you've watched my other video, I showed you how to um, piece this together. And like I said, um, I'm printing from a Sawgrass SG500, which is 8.5 by 11. So, if you have a thick paper and you get lines when you press, you need to, instead of cut, you need to just rip... your paper on your edges like that so that way you don't get harsh lines um, I like to take a ruler lay down and pull it if I'm using thick paper this is not a it is a thick paper but I don't get lines with it but I just wanted to show you for some people that have different paper and methods Okay, so I tore some of them, and some of them I'm going to leave straight, just to see, to show how the edges, I haven't got, um, even the pillowcase that I did. Alright, so I have a few rookie mistakes, and I was not looking whenever I was printing these. So, I have this space right here. So, it is really helpful if you click your print border from this, from the first video. All right, and then the line up here is a little bit. I should have brought it in more, but I couldn't do anything with it because I've already printed that, um, and I would have to reprint both of those. So, I'm just going to go with it. It's going to be a display, and it's handmade. All right, so now I am going to go, and I am going to cut this down. And I'm going to do a straight edge for that, and then I'm going to put that one together. Okay, so now I am just going to cut to where you actually have color showing so you don't have any white. Okay. And now I'm going to put these pieces together and match them up. All right. There we go. So now I am just going to put some tape, not on the And I could put some right along there, but I'm just going to leave it. And I'm going to go ahead and do the back. And I am going to go ahead and tape down those edges. Whoops. Okay, now I am going to pick this up on both sides. Make sure I'm still right where I need to be. And now I have that ready to press, and now I'm going to map out everything else on here. Now I have already pre-pressed, and we are going to go ahead and put these on here. And I'm just going to set them for right now until I figure out exactly how I want it. Oh, and there's another key to this. Your edges, 
you don't want them close to it because it has a seam. All right. So, to go ahead. All right. Not sure if I'm going to use this one just yet. So to make sure that I get everything pressed properly, I am going to go ahead and press just these. And then I am going to go ahead and press this. I have my blowout paper. Um, mm, we're going to take this one off because I don't want to, let's see. All right, so I'm going to take this and we are going to use it this way. Now, I don't want to mess up my image, so I don't want to put paper on the inside just yet. I'm putting it on the back side, um, and that way it doesn't get on my pressing pillow, and then I have a piece on the top. Okay, so now I have these sandwiched together. All right. And we are going to press this at 385 for 60 seconds. All right. So I'm going to let that... I had already moved that one, so I went ahead and took it off. All right, so let me, okay. So now I'm going to do just this one also. And now let me get my Merry Christmas. And I'm going to tape that one down also. So now I decided I'm just going to do this one. And we are going to turn it just a little crooked. Okay. I like to move those really quick on the spliced ones just because of ghosting. And now I am going to move the rest of it down and I am going to put the Merry Christmas on there. And there's not much pressure. You don't have to do a hard pressure. And there we go. If you have any questions about this, please comment below and I'll be glad to answer them for you. Thanks. Have a great day.